Thank you, Jeff. Yes, um, Yeovil lost 3-0 um, at home to um, Doncaster this afternoon. The good news, Gary, is there's still 45 league games of the season um, to go, but is that little consolation this evening? Yeah, it is. Although what you know is, is that, you know, that being the first game of the season, you've got plenty of time to put it right. And uh, we, we looked very short of where we were even a few days ago, if you like. Um, and on the day we were second best all over the field and, and that's happened today. We had a great little crowd come in as well, so hopefully they won't give up on us just yet. Um, but they wouldn't have, I didn't recognise the team that we put out there and I'm sure they didn't recognise. We had a couple of good, decent you know, pre-season friendlies here and uh, there's a lot more ability about our team than we showed today. So, you know, we've got to chastise them and then pick them up and then uh, in two days' time, we've got to get them coming out to, to play another game against Gillingham. Yeah, um, conceding three goals. I mean, with a pretty much entirely brand new defence, are we expecting teething problems or do you expect better from your players? No, you always expect, expect better from your players, of course you do. But uh, when we did have the possession, we gave it away. Um, we, we, we didn't keep possession very well. And they had a little bit of experience about them. And then they had a couple of quick lads up front and uh, they were able to get between us on two or three occasions. And when they did, they, you know, there were three quality finishes, to be fair. Um, but we can put all them back to mistakes from us, certainly by giving the ball away and leaving ourselves a little bit short on the break. Yeah, I mean, individual mistakes, do it again. You learn from, you learn from it, for example, Chris going walkabout for the second goal. Yeah, uh, didn't need to do that. There was a couple of other... People made mistakes earlier before the ball got that far, but um, now we, you know, we've got a, we've got a lot to do. We're going to watch the whole video tomorrow, so you know we'll see. We'll let the boys see what the fans had to see today, and I'm sure that will be uh, sufficing, livening them up a little bit for the next game. I hope so. Yeah, of course you've started the back, but um, how do you get you able to create more chances in a game? That's not like you not to trouble the goalkeeper more. No, that was the disappointing thing. We we didn't create any real proper chances, we certainly wasn't a, a threat, let alone a constant threat, which we try to be. But, uh, you know, we, we, we're getting to know the psyche and the personality a little bit more of some of the players and um, we've got to work out what motivates them and uh, what brings out their best game because they've all got a game, but uh, I would say, uh, barring maybe one or two, not many people showed their, their, their game to me. You're, you're an experienced manager. I mean, opening day of the season always seems to be more highlighted. Than, are you concerned by today, or, or do you at some point put it to one side and think, look, let's start looking forward to the two Gillingham games? No, we will look forward to the two Gillingham games, but until we do, we've got to be concerned about a 3 0 defeat at home. I'm not concerned that the, that the players are not going to be good enough um, because I've seen that. The only concern is can those players play with no fear? Can they go out to actually. You know, play their best game and, and affect the game as individuals as well as a group. We didn't do that today. Um, so the worry is that that happens again, but what we're going to have to do is bludgeon them into bringing out their best game. That's, that's, that's going to be the big thing. And if we can do that in over two or three days, then we've done our job. But uh, certainly all, all leave is cancelled <laughs> and all weekends off are, are cancelled. And is the cup game with Gillingham a good opportunity for you to assess perhaps players who didn't start today? Yeah, it could be that you could be right, but I think if it had been a league game Tuesday, I probably would have left out two or three for that, um, for the problem of them playing with a bit of fear, you know. So uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to make changes. So we'll have a look and uh, give the ones that haven't had a chance today a chance on Tuesday. And just for the record, are you still looking to add to your squad at all, or is that un unlikely, especially in the short term? Uh, in the short term, it's probably unlikely, um, but it doesn't stop us keep looking. Um, you know, if I can, if players show that they're not going to be able to do the job, then of course you've got to be asking them, can you find another club, um, and then you might be able to bring in. But at the moment, we're at. Uh, we're at the top of our budget uh, and we'll have to get this group going first or not, as the case may be. Thank you. No problem, thank you. Obviously you had all the players, not just the subs, but the 90 minutes out there running around the pitch and everything else. Was that yeah. just um, something that you were using to be able to speak to them and get them through the running and get their legs moving? That way? Well, it was, but it was also, um, you know, getting them out there, 
to do a bit more than they would normally expect. Um, and it gave us a chance to, the dressing room as small as it is, so 20 odd players in, in the dressing room, get them out there, give them a little bit of work, find out who's up the front, who wants to give up. You know, you're just learning their characters and, and I do little things like that to, to learn whose character's um, good and who's dead man walking sort of thing, you know, and I need them ones that are going to be able to recover from this um, and not moan about the extra work that they've done at the end because uh, they deserved some form of punishment, <laughs> if you like. I mean, it wasn't that punishing, but uh, at the same time, uh, we could warm them down and uh, stretch them so that you know we, we can be ready for a six-minute run. Ain't going to hurt them, but it did shock them.